Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing the second tome around tag. So uh, I saw this on Hey Little Thrifters channel. Not actually sure who originally did it, so let's have a look. Okay, so it was originally created by The Hungry Bookworm. These are both great channels as well, so I'll link to both of those below for you. There are nine questions here, and it's all used book themed. So uh, we'll go straight on in. Question one, do you buy secondhand books? Yes, I do. Um, I buy them for myself, just like in charity shops and stuff. I, I get quite a lot of my books secondhand. I also don't mind buying online secondhand as well. Um, but also, I've been buying a lot of secondhand books in bulk to then sell on individually as well uh, to make a little bit of cash. And it seems to be going, you know, all right so far. So, yeah, I buy, buy quite a few secondhand books. Question number two What is slash was your latest purchase? Well, the latest one that arrived was I got a job lot of Isaac Asimov books. So, um, I think I paid about £7 for five Asimov novels and uh, yeah I'm going to read them all and then sell them on after I've read them but uh, I, I really enjoy Asimov so I'm looking forward to, to getting to these soon. Question number three, what condition do you find acceptable i.e. tatty or not tatty etc. I'm not really one of those who's too bothered about condition as long as I can read the books um, then it's fine. Obviously if I'm selling them on or whatever they need to be of reasonable condition to be sold on but I mean I very rarely see secondhand books either for sale online or in stores that are of a condition where I'm like, that's too much, man. You know? Question number four. After you have read said book, do you keep it for a reread or re-donate it? Well, I used to keep all of my books and I had everything that I'd ever read, but I hit like 2,000 read books and my library was just getting ridiculous. So, um... So now I mostly sell them on again in my eBay store um, and again it's part of making different income streams and stuff so if I can make a bit of money from that, a bit of money from my freelance writing, a bit from this, a bit from that, um, it all adds up you know. Question number five, do you have a favourite place you like to go when looking for second hand books? Um, well historically it was uh, charity shops uh, and second hand bookstores although there aren't as many of those. But obviously during the pandemic everything's been closed so and I don't think any of the charity shops have even reopened yet or at least in my town um, so I've been buying a lot of second-hand books online. Question number six hardback or paperback do you have a preference? I generally prefer paperback just because they're easier to hold and maneuver um, but honestly I don't really mind either way. Uh, paperbacks actually generally tend to be thinner and there's like more of a profit margin in them uh, because if books are below basically this this here would be a, uh, a small parcel this here would be a large letter and so the postage for this is like over twice as much and the uh, you know the actual prices of the books don't necessarily compensate for it so quite often I'm selling books and I'm like barely breaking even you know question number seven have you found any real gems yeah I found loads I think one of the best ones I've found I found a Folio Society edition of something or other in a charity shop in Marlow. Uh, Marlow's quite a middle class town nearby me, it's kind of well known for, yeah, you get the phenomena of Marlow mums which are basically rich women who are um, you know, married to somebody who has a job in London and who earns a lot of money so they don't work and they drive 4 by 4s and have little kids called Tarquin and stuff. Um, but it means, it means that the charity shops have got some really good stuff in it because a lot of people have got a lot of money and so really good quality stuff ends up going for peanuts in charity shops. Question number eight, optional, find a book from your shelves that you can donate to a good cause or your local charity slash goodwill shops. No, uh, partly because charity shops aren't really taking donations at the moment because again, because of the pandemic, a lot of people have had sort outs, uh, you know, during. And so because of that, um, charity shops, are bit, and also charity shops have to like leave it for 72 hours to ensure it's decontaminated and stuff before they can even touch it. So basically a lot of them are asking you not to donate things. But also, as I'm selling books on my eBay store, I'd, you know, I'd rather sell it and make a few quid. Question number nine, go ahead and tag some peeps. So I'm going to do what I usually do, and I'm just going into my recent comments, and I'm going to tag a bunch of people from that. So I'm going to tag Jason's Weird Reads, uh, Cats and Camera, Charles Heathcote, Native Lady Book Warrior, she's great, new, uh, new channel I recently got into, Brad Proctor, Minx Laura 123 as uh, she tagged me in her original tag recently, well, Mary Ann Moronsky as well, um, she's been a member of the community for a while now but has recently started making videos, definitely check her uh, channel out as well. And she said last time I tagged her it gave her a big smile, so I don't know if she can keep up with all these tags though. Uh, Richardson Reads, Richardson Reads as well if he's about, uh, Todd the Librarian as always, and one more I will tag Charles Heathcote, oh no I already tagged him, Al from Big Hard Books and Classics. 
So, there we have it. That's what I made of the second team around tag. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments uh, what you thought of this tag and my answers, etc. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more. And I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.